Hello everyone out there, all you sports bettors. I'm the Oracle, and I want to put together a little video about uh, can you make a living betting on sports? It's a popular topic. Uh, when I went to search for sports betting just to see what was coming up, uh, that was one of the top rated search terms related to sports betting. So I uh, kind of want to answer your questions or at least give you my opinion on, on how it works. Everybody's situation is different, so let's go over some things. I'm a spreadsheet type of guy. I like hard numbers. So what we're going to do is just run through a few examples so you get a sense of what sort of metrics you need to, to make and performance measures in order to be successful as a sports better. Um, this is purely from a number standpoint, and then I'll touch on a few like just other key things that you need to have in your personality to be successful at it. So I'm um, just starting with numbers. So um, I put together a little profitability calculator. I do it by the month because there's a lot of variance day to day. Like one day, just the other day, I won six out of eight bets. And then the next day I won uh, two out of six. So it's up and down day to day. But as a whole, um, your variance shouldn't be too crazy month to month. So uh, so we're just going to look at, let's go down here and then I'm going to look at a few other examples and we'll monkey with some numbers. So just, you know, thinking of myself or somebody, so say in, during a month you make one bet per day. You just say you bet my free pick. So you bet the free pick every day. Oops, don't want to touch. Um, so that means there's 30 bets per month on average. I mean, some months 31, some months 28 if it's February. So um, I just go with, and a lot of this is formula driven. Just think, if you're an Excel person, you'll see it's just that times 30. Um, so I'm using a standard bet size of 1100 Certainly this might be $100. We're going to look at some different numbers, like I said. But let's just say you have enough of a bankroll where you could bet $1,100 on each of your bets. Um, so when you win, you're going to get $2,100 back. That's the 1000 price. Again, a few assumptions in here. One is that it's at 1.1 odds. Of course, some will be 1.05, some will be 1.2. On average, most of our bets are going to be 1.1. Um, win rate so I currently hit right around 60% so we're going with 60% and we're gonna kind of look at the worst case scenario in a minute like I said but let's just say 60% that means that total during a month you've bet 3300 that's your 1100 times 30 uh, when you win you're getting back 37800 so that's your 2100 um, what it's down here times the 20 so your 2100 that you get each time times your 60% win rate, times the number of bets that you are making during a month. Hopefully it all makes sense. Um, cost of info, so this is blank. This would be if you paid for basically any expenses that you have. So I put cost of info, so that would be like if you say bought my picks on Capper Tech, um, that would come out of your profit. So I don't, I have nothing in here, but say you did and you paid 250 bucks. No, need, yeah, so you just put it as a positive number. And then number of win days, 18 and that again is just the 30 uh, days times the 60 percent etc so profit on bets so profit on bets is basically saying hey we bet a total of 33,000 over the month uh, we won we got back I should say 37,800 um, so that was our total profit on the bets and then after info basically subtracts out that 250 I'm just going to take that out for now um, and then our ROI, which is return on investment, is basically saying we invested a total of 33000 of our own money on betting, and we got we made on top of that 4800 That's 15%. Very respectable. So that quick example, could you bet on sports for a living? Well, part of that depends on you. If you can live off $4,800 a month, then yes, you could. Um, we'll go into a few other things. But in theory, yes, you could. So thinking of the same example... Um, let's just say not everybody can bet $1,100 every game. I'm fully aware of that. Say you can only bet 100 or 110. Well, everything basically gets downsized, and now at the end of the month, you're only making about close to 500 bucks. All th other things the same. Uh, could you live off that? Probably not. So instead, let's say, well, I can afford to bet 110 a game, but I'm going to bet like three games a day. Well. Now you're up to fifteen hundred. I mean, basically, it's just a direct multiple. So now you're making about fifteen hundred bucks a month. So it's up to you. You have to decide how much can you afford to invest in. Uh, oops, let's change this. Um, invest in each of your bets. So the big factors here that are gonna determine if it's profitable for you and you could make a living off it are one, your bet size, and two, very important, is your win rate. And you have to be very honest with yourself with this. It is easy to think. 
oh, I can pick 80% winners. You hear people say it all the time. Uh, nobody does. Not consistently. Maybe you have a great week. I mean, I've done it on different days. There's been days when I'm a 100% winner, but not every day. Uh, the average say 60%. If you can hit 60%, I would say, and you can then fund your account and you have enough that you can use like a decent bet size, you could easily make a living off sports betting. Um, so let's take a look over here at something. So let's go down to one again. And so everything else is the same, except we dropped our rate to 53%. Like we we you know make 100 bets we win 53 of them we're just scraping by um all the math works out you make 400 bucks in profit now you have to think about something if you're making 1100 dollars bet every single day and at the end of the month all you've made is 400 dollars in profit are you going to be very happy probably not i mean it's a one percent it's probably might even be a bit lower it's rounded up uh return on investment and it's tough so this is where another factor comes into play you need to be, and it's not mathematical, you need to be very specific and diligent with your money management. It is very easy to say, lose one bet or two bets and then think, you know what, I'm just gonna bet big on the next one and try to recoup all that. Or I'm gonna try to double my money. That doesn't work in the long run. You do get lucky sometimes and you might double your money, but when you get unlucky and lose it all, you're not gonna be happy. So uh, you should watch my other video on money management. I'll put a link at the end of this video to it. It'll pop up here somewhere and uh, watch that one it's all about money management that is probably the biggest factor that will determine if you're successful at sports betting and it is definitely sort of the third factor when it comes to can you do it for a living sure if you are good with money management and have a bankroll to work with um, and then you can hit a decent win rate and I guess the bankroll so you don't screw up your bankroll, you manage it well, you have enough to bet this amount and you can hit a decent rate. So all those things said, can you? Certainly, uh, you need to be able to ride out the waves, the ups and downs. I wouldn't encourage anyone to quit their full-time job to get into sports betting unless it's something they've built up and you have a nice cushion put aside. All those things that people tell you and people wanna ignore. Um, I've heard a lot, you hear a lot more hard luck stories than, than good stories. You have to be very diligent in your uh, methodology and just being sure you bet the same amount every day and if you go on a three-day losing streak just be okay just make sure you're sticking to your whatever it is that you do that gets you 60 percent and off to the races you are so um, just for fun now on a positive more fun not or no would say you managed to crank your bankroll up to whatever 40,000 so now you're like a five percent bet size. so we use a standard bet size of five percent of your bankroll so you have 40,000, so a bet for you is 2,000, and I would just say 2,200. Um, and say you, you know, you're a good enough handicapper, you find three games a day, and you're betting 2,200. The math is so big that we have to expand. And there you go, you could be making 2,800. Say you are only good for 57%. Still a nice return, say you only hit that 53. Eh, not as exciting now, I mean, two, I mean don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with making $2,300 a month, but you're basically scraping by. And just so you guys know, just to demonstrate this, 53% is pretty much the minimum. There's a fraction there somewhere, but that you can hit and be profitable. If you only win 52% of the time, you are negative. And it has to do with the fact that there's a 10% commission on those uh, losing bets. So um, you're going to be losing. So you have to win just over 50% just to break even. So um Certainly you want to be at, at least and again remember this is betting twenty two hundred dollars a game three games a day on average So um, you can pull in ten grand a month. So that said, I don't want to keep rambling on um, You can do do the math yourself. Hopefully that's helpful uh, If you're kicking around the idea of being you know a sports better handicapper for a living Certainly definitely have your game down first make sure you can hit those high ratios the 55 to 60 percent I wouldn't really try it any less than unless you can kind of consistently hit 60 uh, using sites to track your bets so that you're honest with yourself things like Capertech totally free sign up for an account um, completely free put in all the bets that you're actually making so that way you're forced to like see your graph every day and see if you're up or down and over time and you can run all kinds of cool metrics so uh, do that track your results over time over a year see how good you are and then go from there and hopefully this was useful so if you like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe i always try to put out daily picks as well as just little videos like this 
and that's it and i'll put up that video to money management here over one of my shoulders as well thanks you guys this is the oracle everybody have a great day